Slow digestion can result spoiled of food in the stomach and difficult to defecating for beta phase. Believe it or not, trimming beta fins are one of the way to make the beta fin tail grow properly. If your beta fins die and you want to know why, then this video is right for you. Today I'm going to talk 9 reasons why beta fins die. And this is based on my personal experience. And if you're curious about this topic, check this out. Okay, the reason number one is the beta died because was off. Based on the Wikipedia literature, beta fish can live for three to five years. However, to be able to live that long, beta fish must be cared for properly. We need to know that the older the beta fish, the less energy it will have and the lower its endurance. Therefore, don't be surprised if a beta die between 3 to 5 years. But the problem is why many beta fish die before 3 years. The simple reason is because poor care of beta fish. Poor care of beta fish will cause a short lifespan of beta fish. Without good water, beta fish will not live for long. Number two, stress. Not only human that can feel stress, beta fish can also feel stress. Usually, a stress beta tend to stay in the corner of the tank, don't want to eat and rarely move, and suddenly could die. And some reason why beta fish are stressed, usually due to the high chlorine content in the water, when sipping period, losing or injure after fighting. Beside that, because the breathing process that to force. If not handled properly, stress on beta fish can potentially cause the death of your beta fish. Number three is overfeeding. Beta fish that eats too much usually have the potential to death, although this is unlikely. Eating a lot is good for beta fish, but if the digestion is low, it will be very dangerous. Especially in old betas. Old betas have slow digestion. Slow digestion can result spoils of food in the stomach and difficult to defecating for beta phase. One common example is female beta. Female beta have a high appetite and female beta that file or difficult to digestion food are usually have enlarged stomach. Therefore, overfeeding is not recommended. In addition, overfeeding also causes the water to become dirty if the feed is left over and beside that triggers the parasite. Number 4. Sunbathing Beta Direct Sunlight Sunbathing Beta is a good thing. When the summer, sunbathing beta will give a warm water temperature. But the problem is, if it's too long, the water temperature can increase. And do you know what will happen to the beta if the water temperature in a tank 50 to 70 degrees Celsius? The answer is, your beta might die or might be dying. Because in high water temperature, beta fish will be difficult to breathe. Therefore, don't sunbathing the beta if you don't want to wait it for it. Number 5. Lack of nutrient or protein High protein is a nutrient that beta fish need. But do you know that? Actually, beta fish can survive in extreme hunger condition or lack of nutrient. Based on my experience, adult beta fish can survive for one month without eating. With a note that the container is large and the water is clean. For one month, the beta fish might survive. But the problem is, if you have beta fry or young beta fish, beta fry that didn't eat for seven days are usually die or get sick. So don't let your fish starve. Number six, beta jump. This is a serious problem, and this is the worst experience I've had. And some beta fish lovers must have same experience. Beta fish are great jumper fish. Usually, a beta that jump from the tank is found dead and dry, although it's not all. 
And if you have wild betas like Embelis, Smaradigna and other wild betas, don't try to not cover the tank because wild beta are the best jumper. And there are several reasons why a beta jumps from the tank. The first is he want to catch insect or mosquito. And the second is because the water conditions are bad or unsuitable for beta fish. Therefore, don't overfill your tank or if possible, you can cover your tank. Number 7. Trimming beta fins. Believe it or not, trimming beta fins are one of the way to make the beta fin tail grow properly, especially SMBK beta. Before joining the SNI beta fish competition, usually the beta hobbies will tidy up the beta fins. Some beta hobbies call it grooming. The goal of grooming beta is to make beta fish fin accordance with the national beta fins criteria. In Indonesia, these practices are common and legal. Even before the competition, it's recommended to trim beta fish fins. However, grooming has the risk of causing death to beta fish. Anastasia is something that must be done before trimming beta fish fin. The good news, if the process is successful, then the beta will look neat and beautiful. But the bad news is, some beta fish not get up after anesthesia. Number 8. Disease. There are four most common diseases of beta fish, namely fungal infection, Popeyes, tumor, and dropsy are the most dangerous diseases. If the beta is dropsy within days, the beta usually dies. Besides dropsy, it's a fungal infection. Fungal infections are dangerous for beta fish, especially if the condition is too severe. The beta potentially will die. Number 9. Overdose using bleach eats. Bleach eats is antifungal. Its function is to prevent and treat sick fish, especially white spot disease. However, if an overdose, beta fish can die. Okay, beta lovers, if you have a question about why beta fish die, you can write in column comment. And finally, thank you so much for watching this video and see you at the next video.